the will, yes, the mental faculty that gives you the ability to hold one idea on the screen of the mind to the exclusion of all outside distractions or ideas. I want you to start dreaming about what you want and then discipline yourself that you're going to execute it. Now, you and I are constantly being inundated with ideas through our senses. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. It's flying into our mind. It's so easy to get off track. Most information that you pick up just as you go through your day is negative. It's very negative. Most people spend most of their time thinking of why things won't work. 97% of the population are locked into that. If you turn on your radio or your TV, the news, it's all negative. It's not good news, it's bad news. And people will sit and stare at it. Now your mind works in such a way that if you're not thinking, your subconscious mind is wide open to impression. And whatever's going on around goes right into your subconscious mind. You become totally deductive to whatever the environment you're in. It's very important that you mix with the right people. I am super selective about people that I spend a lot of time with. I don't think I'm any better than anybody. I think I'm a lot more fortunate than most, but I don't think I'm any better than anybody. There's just some people I don't want to be around them a lot. They, they're, it's doom and gloom. It's bad times. I love what Earl Nightingale said. Don't talk about your health unless you're talking to a doctor. But you know, if you're not feeling well and you talk to somebody about it, you know what they're going to do? They're going to sympathize. What are they going to do? They're going to add more bad energy to the bad energy you're talking and thinking about. If you go to the doctor, the doctor isn't going to give you sympathy. The doctor is going to give you direction how to get better. So don't talk about your health unless you're talking to a doctor. You might want to turn that into a little mantra in your mind. Well, here we want to learn to make decisions, and then we want to discipline ourselves. Decision without discipline probably turns into wishing. Discipline is to give yourself a command and then follow. It's the ability to give yourself a command and then follow. This I will do. One of my key phrases for the whole day, disciplines work miracles. Disciplines work miracles. Here's the first piece that works miracles. Number one, do what you can. Do not let neglect grab you by the throat. Don't let neglect stall you on your path toward prosperity and health, being able to become powerful, influential, rich beyond wildest imagination. Don't neglect what you can do. If you can read, read. If you can change, change. If you can grow, grow. If you can take one step, take one step. Do not neglect to do whatever you can do at the moment. Of course you can't run a multi-billion dollar business today. Mark couldn't either 10 years ago. Mark couldn't either five years ago. But I'm telling you today he can do it because step by step, year by year, he took on what he could do, he didn't neglect it, he did the meetings he could do, he made the calls he could make, he read the books he could read, he took the classes he could take, and step by step he got himself ready. I'm telling you, do not neglect to do whatever you can do, because it'll work here. Of personal development first, productivity second. Now, do what you can. Here's number two, do the best you can. If it's a foggy night and you can only see 100 feet, how can you see another 100 feet? Answer, walk the first 100 feet. Walk as far as you can see, and then you can see some more. And walk as far as you can see, and then you can see some more. So what you picked up here, just do it as far as you can see it. And I promise you, if you'll execute as far as you can see it, you'll be able to see more. Do that, then you can see more. Finally, get in tune of doing the best you can, and you'll have the activity that'll develop the disciplines that will set this sail so that you can say it doesn't matter how the wind blows. I'm prepared.